best pundit and premier league pundit don't bring in theory onry because theory onry is the worst? champions league pundit there is you, you can say, say worst? Worst. there's a worst football take there's a worst football take yeah. award next which yeah. which will cover the worst uh, pundit okay but, the best uh, uh, best pundit for me is going to be um <laughs> can i say kinetic talks sport <laughs> pundit <laughs> Don't cancel me, please. <laughs> now you would be cancelled. Before everybody thought that he was saying for some other reasons because everybody's gross. But now people will cancel you. <laughs> you guys go first. You made the award, right? Ajay, go. No, no. Come see you go. Uh, Who do you like? Who do you like listening to? Simple. Mark. It can be Mark Gold. I love <laughs> listening to Neville and Carragher, but I don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, it's, yeah. Yeah. I. I, no, I, like, mean, I think. I think I, Ra- Roy Keane is damn stupid. He's he's very tribalistic. Uh, Michael Richards doesn't know anything about football. Uh, Jamie Redknapp, Jamie Redknapp for me, like a little bit yeah. more sensible. A little he says the right thing sometimes. Uh, I, I like his uh, thought process on things. Uh, but he's also sometimes gets a little tribalistic. But for me, uh, Darren Bent. Talk sport. <laughs> Fun. Fun. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I think for me it's Jamie Carragher. I think he, except for when yeah. Liverpool is involved, I think he has. Oh I my think god! He has really so nice. such a biased funded bro. Yeah. Are you kidding no, me? He is, he's he so is. biased. He is biased. When no, it no, comes biased, to Liverpool, but... he's crazy biased. That's not a pundit. If you're biased, then simple. It's over. You're not a pundit. Actually, I have a shout. Like, I think you, Daniel Sturridge is not a lo- pundit. Would you not love? a Jamie Carragher Arsenal figure in 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 the pundit punditry era I would love it I hate Lee Dixon bro like I absolutely despise that dude he overcompensates for the Arsenal fans I like Thierry Henry he's good enough for us oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thierry Henry is nice Thierry Henry is nice Martin Keown is fine yeah. he's uh, very passionate uh, yeah yeah he's, he's one of those yeah, he's Martin Keown and Arlo Smith <laughs> Arlo Smith Simon Jordan Vamsi who's Who's your best pundit? Dude, uh, this is a shout out to like USA Robbie Musto man. I, I really, oh. I really like their two Robbies podcast. Like these people, right? They were like great footballers, but uh, they see they these like nothing. small they things. They are nothing. Rebecca, yeah, he's... either two Robbies can actually go <laughs> at themselves, honestly. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. Oh, I don't amazing. know about the other boys. But I, 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 I like. Geek. They're amazing. Yeah, <laughs> Robbie was okay. the dog. Nirav is Nirav is an asshole, so I'll just back you up on that one. I think the only difference or the only contribution that they make is that they bring out like a psychological aspect to Dude, the game. Dude, I I and I that honestly is listen to them instead of taking melatonin because it puts you to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not raunchy, like which which is fine. Oh my god, yeah. I think it's not I analytical. Think it's not strategic. Yeah. It's just yeah. like they bring out like a. Psychological, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's fine. Yeah, like, it, it's sometimes just like nice. Like Tim Howard yeah. just comes to say the most obvious things. What you are thinking, I will yeah. say. You're thinking that yes. I'll say that. Here's here's the obvious. Do you repeat the commentators? Like, like you know this, like yeah. Graham Lasore and and these guy will analyze the game and he'll they'll just repeat it in the half time. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Do something new of your own. Okay, exactly. this brings us to worst football take of the season. Absolutely, the worst gross football take of the season. And you can include the pun. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely Graham Sounders. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's. I will repeat. I will. I will repeat your what you said. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely Gary Neville. Oh At my god! I thought you would season. say Rio. I thought you, you. I thought you would say Rio Ferdinand. Dude, no, I don't consider Rio to be a pundit. So let's just like. Yeah, I don't that's fair. It. He's a fan. He's a podcaster. He, he, like he has a podcast. Yeah. So I don't. He's not a pundit. Like I. I don't want. I don't want to name every legend. That's how. Then we have to include Patrick Evra also in the. the, the Patrice Evra also in the thing. Uh, Pat, no, no, Patrice Evra is cool, bro. Patrice Evra is. What is what was his catchphrase? No, no, what was his catchphrase? I love. I love this game. This game. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming to India. He's making chai and shit, and he's saying, "I love this game." <laughs> Good for him. Uh, Good for okay, him. the Good worst take that a pundit has had this season is uh, is baby in the start. Every time it happens at the start of the season, when Gary Neville predicted Man United to challenge Man City, Jamie Redna, uh, Re- uh, Jamie Carragher predicted Man Man United to challenge for Man City, and they did none of them predicted Arsenal to be there thereabouts. Yeah, those two things. Yeah, and so many pundit, I, I pundits pundits st- that have it's a shit, yeah. and he's gonna be yeah. shit. So. Yeah, I still can't can't get over the fact that Rio Ferdinand was like, "I did I would join United in a heartbeat." I think I'll, oh, yeah. I'll take that to my grave. <laughs> I think that is the worst ever take, worst take ever in the history of football. But anyway, Vamsi, 
Any any shouts? Oh, I don't know, man. I feel like from the season I've I've seen right from United, there was no good take. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> there's Steve. literally I don't okay. know, bro. Who's been the cult hero for of Premier League this season? For me, it's Scotty, bro. Scotty, yeah? boy, yeah. Just like I think when the team was dead, he's he's come up with those goals, bro. And, and he's he's outlasted so many managers, man. Fucking Murray, <laughs> like Van Van Gaal, he was there. Mourinho, really he was there. Uh, Mourinho, he was there. Fucking Ragnik, he was there. Yeah, Ole, he was there. Now Ten Hag is like trusted him. I like what's going on. Like what 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 do all these managers see that fucking none of us could ever like pick him in our team? But Can you explain there, to me the word a little bit more? Uh, like. Uh, so How for, do you mean for me, it was. So for me, it was. Uh, it's basically like you would love to have that player in your team, but everybody else hates him. That kind of stuff. Oh, so like he's like, that. He's just has like a, hero, like... He's just like a cult forming of, like cult following of oh, people like, who oh, like you know yeah, 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 die I by see. it and that kind of stuff. So you die by yeah, him, but, but yeah. everybody else yeah. are is basically willing to just stab him in the heart. <laughs> I have one now. <laughs> like Diago Costa types. <laughs> Yeah. I have one. Who's that? And he's that the, he's Neil the, Mope. He's <laughs> Neil Mope. Who is dying by Neil Mope, bro? Who are these? Where are these people <laughs> dying by Neil Mope? I, I highly doubt anyone's ever dying by Dude, Neil Mope. I know, I know, But, I know one person who would kill Neil Mope. That's James Madison, for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, my uh, Gendouzi. I think Gendouzi <laughs> might uh, kill. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, for me, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be Benny Sorry. Blanco because Benny, Benny, yeah, yeah, because new cult forming Arsenal fans have started loving him. Everyone started hating him because of his antics, and yeah. yeah so that's uh, if you want to say cult, that's for my club. That's gonna be Benny bro, Blanco. Bro, he put his hands if, in the gloves of the Vicario, bro. He literally put his hands. Yeah, it wasn't that deep, deep <laughs> man. People are like, yeah, it wasn't that deep. It was just touched. He was that, just like teasing yeah, him. <laughs> It was But that yeah. crazy. But that is one, and and if for some other team, like if I have to choose uh, uh, for another team, I would probably say uh, I would say Rich Allison because like he's such a <laughs> like I hate him so much. But uh, I don't know. I just I, I would like also him. put in. I would also I would also put in Anthony. But the point is like he doesn't do anything. So anything. your hate is like your hate doesn't materialize only. Yeah. <laughs> the only can, I, can we hate... sidetrack into another uh, question uh, from this? Yeah, yeah uh, go ahead. You same can, question. You can bring on only... Question is yeah, yeah. question is the most hateful player right now. Like the most punchable football <laughs> player right now. And my answer for that is Anthony Gordon because whenever I see his oh, face, no. right. <laughs> I just want to punch his face, and he's got the most annoying, like I just hate you face in the world. He can do, he can win the Ballon d'Or for all I care. I just won't care for it. For me, it's Anthony, another Anthony, but like not Gordon. Yeah, okay, Anthony's I just good. Love, love his expression. Dude, most punchable face for me is Cole Palmer, bro. I'm sorry, but have, oh, have you seen it? A good shot. <laughs> proper, pro- yeah. proper hate coming out, huh? Now imagine, imagine a front front three of Cole Palmer. Anthony Gordon and uh, and Anthony <laughs> with Bruno behind, with Bruno behind, <laughs> and Douglas Lewis and, and like one more annoying and, guy and Bruno Gomares. Bruno Gomares also is a yeah, pretty Bruno nice wind up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'll be Pickford. something. That'll be one for the fantasy. Pickford. Yeah. yeah. And Debo in yeah. goal, of course. Oh, they are Debo in goal, bro. Pickford is nowhere yeah. near Debo. <laughs> Debo in goal. Debo is next so level wind up match. Irritating, my oh, God. Uh, Have so you annoying. seen that? Uh, Can't Conference stand him. He saved some pen and did that shit again. Yeah. This is before they got like fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah. Easy, yeah. hey, you go ahead. Mamsi has a habit of just digressing to another level. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. Let's. We have four more. Okay, four more quick ones. Uh, last and final thing, and we have to talk about this this thing, and there's only one answer to it. Uh, the what if scenario of Klopp winning the quadruple. Dude, basically, I feel, I basically feel like the, he the fucked farewell. up. Dude. He fucked up announcing it like super early. I feel and like yeah. As soon as he said it, there were so many people that got injured. Like immediately, yeah, everybody got injured. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'm gonna take a small breather. It's gonna be a long season. Yeah, but I think that like that like just literally put too much stress on a Liverpool team that was like coming back. They didn't have like a really good season last season. Like they were recovering. You know, maybe if he said it like in the new year, 
like when they were going into that run in maybe it would have like given him the bo- given them the boost but announcing it that early just like it just like crept like different things you know like into the yeah. squad like they're like oh we'll be starting here again a lot of uncertainty like came in and i think like yeah. sala in the end falling out with klopp just didn't look pretty like all these things that were like Happening. I really I really wish that they won at least a uh, FA Cup or Europa League just one more not Premier League but like one of those two just to make it a little bit you know more memorable and yeah, like thanks to a ball that guy the season yeah <laughs> right ball that guy there you go <laughs> who's probably going to lose against city like that's yeah. such a waste yeah. um but uh, for me yeah i think i mean i've said it before in the podcast that i feel like the timing of uh, uh the timing of this was not the best for from klopp uh i feel like he could have hidden that fact or he could have said it at the start of the season either one of these th- two things could have been better for them but then you know it's always hindsight talking so we can we can't say anything it could have been that like him saying this would have like uh, you know ignited the liverpool players into like performing so well this season that they win everything uh, at that point in time they were in the race to win a lot of things so that yeah. you can never say for sure like what happened so it's it's up to him he thought about it and i'm happy for him honestly yeah good for him he launched his instagram page cloppo go follow some really <laughs> nice uh, nostalgia really? shit going on there yeah yeah he launched his instagram oh, today yeah and he said some shit okay i i, I you know i was he like he got oh, an instagram moment. page or what like i don't understand you no know, he basically he made a profile so he basically oh. came on to social media So his his handle is Kloppo. So he said he said this shit and this 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 screams Dortmund. Okay, he's like you know some people think like uh, victory in football is like collecting trophies, but for me it's like collecting relationships and memories. Sure. Like that. And but like, he is oh, that sort of manager. Yeah, he is yeah. that sort of manager. <laughs> he is that old manager. <laughs> Yeah, and honestly, right? I think like for whatever he's done, he may, he showed that it's possible to play a different kind of football against City, and it's possible to win every fucking thing yeah. playing that kind of football, which is crazy because seven years these fuckers have been winning, and we've been just every year in, in the podcast it seems like we're doing the same shit over and over again. Yeah. But you know, like. He's gonna be a miss, man. Like from next season, but this could be like a really good thing for Arsenal fans because now, Ar- now Arteta knows that you know, like, like somebody has done it and it's possible, and he can go to that top status next. I do really wanted to win it with Klopp and Pep in the league. Like, really, really wanted to win it. But, yeah, you uh, wanted course, to win it with them. That would have been like yeah. a different achievement, but it's just not yeah. meant to be. What can you do? Yeah. 